Welcome to this tutorial. My name is Owen Burgess and I'm a member of the Maya support team. This tutorial is for you if you intend to set up a network license server on Windows and you want your server to manage licenses for all versions of Maya, Mudbox or Motion Builder up to and beyond the 2010 release. As of the 2010 release, Network installations of Maya, Mudbox and Motion Builder are issued licenses by the Autodesk Network License Manager, ADLM. The decision to move away from the previous License Manager, SGIAWD, was made in order to align Maya, Mudbox and Motion Builder with other Autodesk products. The goal is to make it easier to set up and manage a single, common license server for all your Autodesk applications. However, if you want to continue to work with earlier versions of the software, you will need to ensure your license server is configured to run the old license manager, SGIAWD, as well as the Autodesk license manager, ADLM. I'm going to show you how to set up your license server so that you can run all versions of the software. With this diagram, I'm hoping to give you a better understanding of how the license server is configured and what happens when you request a network license. On the left is the workstation on which I've installed my software. This can be a remote workstation or it can be the license server itself. On the right hand side of the dotted line I've divided the license manager applications and license files into three folders that sit on the designated license server. Right now nothing has been configured so any license request would result in an error that the application was not able to obtain a license because the license server manager could not determine where to find the licensing data it needs. This error message catches a lot of people out. Even though you may have correctly set up the license file on the client machine so that it points to the server, this error is clearly telling you that the computer is not recognized as a license server. It's important to remember that Maya does not communicate directly with the license file. This is the role of the license manager. Each license manager is essentially composed of two components, the LMGRD component and the vendor component, and they must be in the same folder. Then you'll create a service to associate the LMGRD component with the correct license file. When the server boots up, LMGRD will be started and will read the associated license file. In the license file, LMGRD will read that a given license manager is required to decrypt the activation keys. LMGRD looks for this application in the local folder and then hands over the feature codes from the license file. The setup for ADLM is very similar, except that the LMGRD component will be associated with a license file that refers back to ADSK Flex. Now when you launch Maya 2009, a license request is made to the license server and is picked up by the appropriate LMGRD component and the license is issued by SGIAWD. Similarly, when you launch Maya 2010, the license request is picked up by the ADLM license manager which then issues a license. For more information on how to configure the client machine, please refer to the document at the end of this tutorial as it is beyond the scope of this video. This tutorial focuses on how to configure both network license managers on 64-bit Windows Vista, although the configuration is exactly the same on Windows XP and Windows Server 2003. There are three steps to configuring the network license server. The first step is to request a network license from Autodesk. You will have provided Autodesk with the name of the server and its physical address also known as the Ethernet ID. And the activation codes you receive in return will contain information about the number of seats and software features that you are entitled to. In this tutorial I have a license file for Maya 2009 and Maya 2010. The second step is to install the license manager tools. As we've just seen, each license manager is comprised of two components. The license manager daemon, LMGRD, and the vendor daemon, SGIAWD or ADSK Flex. These applications are going to be running in the background on your server so that it can quickly respond to a license request. 
Finally, you'll configure a service for each license manager so it can be linked to the correct license file. Also in this tutorial, I'll show you a couple of ways of checking that your license server is up and running. Let's begin by taking a look at the license files. Here I have the server license files for a single seat of Maya. On the left is a license for Maya 2009 Unlimited. On the right is a license for Maya 2010. Let's take a look at the license file for Maya 2009. The first line contains information about the license server itself. Replace the second item with the name of the license server. This is the only part of the license file you can edit without invalidating the license. Then double check the third item which is the license server Ethernet ID or physical address. And then you'll see on the second line the license manager or vendor is specified as SGIAWD. The rest of the file is made up of feature activation codes that contain data about the number of licenses and the versions of the software features you're entitled to. So we can see here I have activation codes for three features Maya Core, Maya Fluid Simulation and Maya Mental Ray for Maya. One other fact about the feature codes in an SGIAWD license is that they are backwards compatible. So in this instance I could check out a single license of Maya 2009 Unlimited or a single license of any of the previous versions of the software with the same feature code. In fact it's actually recommended that you don't include feature codes for any other version of Maya in the same license file, as this may cause SGIAWD to read the wrong feature codes. But you can copy and paste in your feature codes for other software that uses SGIAWD, such as Mudbox 2009 and Motion Builder 2009. Just remember that the same rule applies. Only include the feature codes for the latest version that you are entitled to. Let's save this file and move over to the license for Maya 2010. The first few lines are very similar. Again, modify the second item of the first line to the license server name and double check the third item that is the Ethernet ID. The third line of the file specifies the license manager, ADSK Flex. You'll also notice that the feature codes make up the bulk of the file. This is because the features are encrypted differently to match the syntax required by ADSK Flex. Moreover, there are more features in a Maya 2010 license file than in a Maya 2009 license file. These are Maya Core, Maya Fluid Simulation, Mental Ray for Maya, and the five Mental Ray render nodes that are included with a Maya 2010 network license. To put it simply, the difference in the encryption syntax makes the license files incompatible with one another. You can't activate Maya 2010 with SGIAWD, nor can you activate Maya 2009 using ADSK Flex. But the big advantage to using ADLM is that in this single license file you can copy and paste your activation keys for any Autodesk application that uses ADSK Flex. These include 3ds Max, Motion Builder 2010, Mudbox 2010, Soft Image 2010, and all the other Autodesk applications. Let's just save this file before moving on. I'm going to put both these license files in the same folder, C FlexLM. While this is not necessarily the default location for license files, I find it more convenient to keep them in the same directory. In step 2, I need to make sure I have the appropriate license manager tools. On a 64-bit operating system, you will find the license manager tools for SGIAWD in C, Program Files x86, Common Files, Alias Shared, Licensing, ETC. These were installed with Maya 2009. Here is SGIAWD and its component, LMGRD. Remember, it's crucial that these two files stay in the same folder. If you can't find these files on your server, or you want to make sure they're up to date, then go to the following page on the Autodesk website, www.autodesk.com forward slash 
license tools and download the Autodesk Licensing Server Tools 11.5 at the bottom of the page which contain the latest SGIAWD components. For Maya 2010 you should download the LM Tools 11.6 if ADLM was not installed with the software. Note that on Windows Vista support for IPv6 is turned on by default so I'm going to download this file here. Then unzip the file to the folder C Program Files Autodesk Network License Manager. So now I have the three folders I showed you in the diagram. Here are my license files. Here are my SGIAWD License Manager files. And here are my ADLM License Manager files. All that's left is to configure the license server. So now I have all the files I need to configure my license server. At the top in CFLEXLM I have my two license files. Note that I've included the name of the license manager in the file name. I find it easier this way to tell which is which. And I've also created two extra files. These are simply empty text files and I've changed the extension to .log. These log files will help me later on when it comes to troubleshoot the license server, although they're not mandatory. In the second folder I have my license manager tools for SGIAWD. If you've already set up a service for Maya 2009, you would have done so using the LM Tools utility in this directory. If you have a service running, then you should leave it and set up a second service for Maya 2010 using the LM Tools utility in the ADLM folder. But since I'm starting from scratch, I find it less confusing to configure both services using the same LM Tools utility. So in the ADLM folder, open the LM Tools utility and we'll set up the services. In the tab Service License File, turn on the option Configuration using Services and the option at the bottom of the screen LM Tools Ignores License File Path Environment Variables. Then go to the Config Services tab and enter the name of the first service. SGIAWD. Then specify the path to the LMGRD file that sits in the same folder as SGIAWD. C, Program Files, Alias Shared, Licensing, ETC. Secondly, the path to the license file, which is fairly straightforward at C, FlexLM. And then lastly, the path to the debug log file, also in CFLEXLM. Turn on Use Services and start server at PowerUp before saving the service. Then go to the tab Start Stop Reread and start the server. Now to make sure this is up and running, go to the tab Server Status and perform a status inquiry. And now you'll see that SGIAWD is up and running. It's up and running because it can check out the feature codes in the license file. So repeat these steps for the Maya 2010 license server. Go back to Config Services, type in the name of the service, ADSK Flex, navigate to the LMGRD file in the ADLM folder, specify the path to the license file and to the debug log file, turn on new services, start server at power up, and then save the service. Go to the tab Start Stop Reread and start the server. Wait a couple of seconds, and then in the tab Server Status, perform a status inquiry and verify that ADSK Flex is up and running and that all the feature codes from the My 2010 license file have been read. So that's it. Now your license managers are up and running, you can close the LM Tools utility. Before I end this tutorial, there is one last thing I want to show you. Go back to the folder CFLEXLM and open the log file ADSK Flex. 
This log file contains valuable information about the status of your license manager. Notice the order of the operations. LMGRD starts first and reads the license file. Before starting ADSK Flex, which then authenticates the features in the license file. This debug log file can contain useful error messages and will be requested by a product support technician if you ever need assistance setting up your license server. In this lesson you have learnt that network licenses are managed by either SGIAWD or ADSK Flex depending on the version of the software that each license manager includes a separate instance of LMGRD and how to identify the vendor daemon in the license file. We also looked at where to find the latest license manager tools on the Autodesk website as well as how to diagnose the license server once you have it configured. If you require more information on how to set up a network license server or the client workstation please refer to the document install slash LIC on the web page at autodesk.com in the Maya section under documentation. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching.